Okay, so I'm back. <coughs> I'm in Denegus right now. So I don't know if I can be heard, but I guess this is. My mic is kind of not good, or maybe my voice is just too low okay I need to find other robots or whatever kind they are MK I don't know if you can't that. seriously be buying anything that creature told us right I mean it's practically blackmailing us into doing its dirty work to be honest the conversation went on for so long, I'm not sure I understood all of it. How about you, Dohalim? Were you able to follow it at all? At the very least, everything it said about the Renin Great Spirit adds up. At the end of the day, this whole chain of events comes back to astral energy. That being said, had we not previously encountered the will of Dana, I suspect I would find its story much more difficult to believe. The spirit of Rana wants to see Dana completely destroyed. But why? Astral energy is supposed to be a force that creates and shapes the world. It doesn't matter. I don't care if we're up against an entire world or what its game is. We're not going to let it destroy Dana. Right. There is one other thing that concerns me. How the Great Spirit, the Helganquil, and the Crown Contest are all part of a centuries-long plan is clear enough. But what about the Renans? How do they factor into all this? <sighs> now that you mention it, and all that talk, Hevrek 35 never even brought up the Renans once. And as for the Helganquil, we never did find out just what they are either. Maybe it had a reason for keeping its silence. Or perhaps there's even more going on. Maybe the others will shed more light on the matter. Let's find out. Yeah, I think they're just being blackmailed. But they have nothing. They have nothing else they can do right now. They're technically hostaged in this ship. There's no other room. Uh, lower level. Okay, uh, what's this? Okay, someone here. This is the I guess. I guess. Uh -huh. These are thick, thick phase all construction plan showing at central elevator shaft and multiple circular areas. That is the I guess. I guess. Okay, so what's in here? The same with what's in Lenigus. Measure social energy fluctuations in Dana and Dana. Okay. Oh, hidden items are what? Apologies. It's just been so long since I've seen any humans from the outside world. Are you a Renan? Hmm? Oh, yeah, I guess so. Hmm? 
The overseer told us to answer any questions you might have. Whatever you want to know, we'll tell you as much as we can. But be quick. Our subjects are undergoing a dramatic shift that we don't want to miss. What a weird guy. He must have meant Hevrecht 35 when he mentioned that overseer. And what was that about subjects? You don't think he meant Dana and Rena, do you? There isn't anyone else we can talk to. I guess we should ask around here. Okay, so there... Renan's here. What was their boss? Have you guys lived up here in Dig Faisal with Hevrek 35 for a long time? Yes. I couldn't tell you off the top of my head just how long it's been, though. We regularly go into stasis, so our sense of time has gotten rather out of whack over the years. Why are you all even here in the first place? Originally, this station was where we worked to perform maintenance on Lenegas from the outside. We heard that the facility ended up in its current location due to an accident. Oh, it was terrible. Apparently, there was some kind of accident, and when help never arrived, they presumed the entire facility had been destroyed. And you've been working for Hevrecht 35 ever since? Well, at first we thought that there was nobody else inside the facility, but then it turned out the Overseer was there all along. What do you mean? The Helganquil have the technology to cloak themselves around us Renans. As long as they don't do anything obvious, a Renan won't see one, even if it's right in front of them. Which would explain why Shion and I failed to notice the Red Women previously. Do they employ an astral art of some sort? I haven't been able to scientifically confirm it for myself, but from what I understand, the type of cloaking they use is primarily achieved through mechanical means. In addition, they also used hypnosis devices and information control to get us to do what they wanted without being detected. It's a pretty sophisticated operation, especially since it avoids any unnecessary conflict. I have to imagine that's how Lenegas is still run. But aren't the Helganquil themselves controlled by the Great Spirit? If so, why aren't Renans affected by it in the same way? The Great Spirit's mind control only works on Helganquil, so they had to employ other means to manipulate us Renans. You act like this didn't affect you personally. If I was you, I'd be mad as hell at their deceptions. I mean, sure, I was surprised when I first found out about it. But it happened so long ago. Hevrek 35 has clearly ceased concealing itself, though. Why is that? Who can say? My guess is it just got bored, or maybe even a little lonely. Don't you want to go back home to Rena or Lenegas? Our ship is going to be fixed pretty soon. You could ride with us. No way. If we went back after knowing the truth, they'd either just brainwash us or purge us outright. After all this time, there's nothing to be gained from going back. We've all agreed it'd be best to simply stay here and watch everything unfold instead. Things are going just fine with the Overseer. Not that it'll be around much longer. It can't extend its life any further. That said, I'm sure it's pleased to see the final stage of the plan before it passes on, though. Thank you for answering our questions. So basically, they are just observers from the outside. Okay. Can you tell me anything? Do you know anything about a spirit channeling plan? If you mean the first plan from 300 years ago, then yes. Do you know what its main objective was? Yes. It was to use Lenigus to siphon off Dana's astral energy and send it to Rena. Exactly. However, there were two problems we had to consider. First was how to collect and send such a large quantity of astral energy without it becoming sentient. Second, we had to figure out how to convert Dana's energy so it would be compatible with Rena. I take it the solutions to those problems were to use the wedge for the collection, and then the sovereign and maiden to convert the energy. We have a winner! 
However, the first plan failed when the Sovereign was overwhelmed and became frenzied. <sighs> the reason for that is because the Maiden lost control. I'm told he slaughtered many Renans in Helganquil that day. <sighs> for the next plan, we tried to recreate the Renis Alma, but we didn't have nearly enough of the other non-dark astral energy types. To amend that, we set our sights on Dana, and implemented a system whereby we could extract energy from it. And the crown contest began. Correct. Since the Maiden had been the failing point in the previous plan, it was decided to replace her role with machinery to avoid further mishaps. A new sovereign had to be made as well. It was such tremendously difficult work, its success was dubious. But from the look of things, it would appear such worries were unfounded. So that's what the purpose of that room we found in the Forbidden Zone was. What about the flower that sprouted from Rena? Flower? Oh, that thing. That's the physical manifestation of all the astral energy that's been harvested from Dana. As I'm sure you've noticed, it's quite a lot of energy. At this point, it's likely that it's become physically integrated with Rena's planetary structure. Hevrecht 35 mentioned that the spirit channeling plan is entering its final stage. Is that true? It is. I never thought I would live to see the day with my own eyes. And yet here we are. Are we done talking now? If it's all the same to you, I'd really rather not miss anything that's about to happen. He talks like the potential end of the world is just another day on the job. You've got to remember that these guys have been living alone up here for a long time. Who knows what shape their minds are in. Yeah, and they don't live on those planets, so... Why do they have to think about those things? So, moving on... Can we talk to you for a few minutes? Sure. It's going to be a while before the two planets undergo their next shift, so I can talk until then. Please, tell us what you know about the Helganquil. You mean the Overseer's species? I can't say I know much about them. Well, for starters, where'd they come from? <laughs> Where else? From Rena, obviously. From Rena? Wait, are you telling us those things live right alongside the Renans down there? Of course not. There's really no such thing as Renans in the first place. Excuse me? Oh, I thought the Overseer explained everything. Apparently not. Please, tell us more. Well, in a nutshell. The Renans were originally created from Danans by the Helganquil. <laughs> I knew it. But if that's true, then that would mean there aren't any people on Rena. There aren't. But there are Helganquil. That's what the name literally means in their language. People of Rena. But what need could they possibly have to create a whole new race of people? It was a way to bolster their dwindling workforce. I trust you're aware that the Helganquil are on the verge of extinction, yes? In essence, we were created to carry on their work for the Great Spirit after they all die. They gathered Danans who had an affinity for astral arts and proceeded from there. That's why we, as their descendants, can all cast arts, albeit to varying degrees. Let me get this straight. Are you saying Renans were originally created from Danans that the Helganquil kidnapped? Wait, that explains why almost nobody can use Astro Arts on Dana now. Helganquil technology is truly amazing. The way they alter their bodies is far less invasive than your conventional surgeries. They have these tiny machines that are practically invisible, which they insert into their bodies and- Enough, you needn't tell us anymore. How can you speak so calmly about all of this? I guess I can see how, when viewed in a certain light, their ways may sound grotesque. But if you ask me, I think they ultimately did us a favor. 
They saved us from crawling the earth in ignorance. If it meant their hands had to get a little dirty in the process, then so be it. Anyway, the Helganquil are the real Renans. Personally, I don't think it's such a big deal. They're also mostly the ones behind what you see going on between the two planets. I think that covers just about everything worth knowing. I see. Thanks for filling us in. Does he really expect us to believe that Renans never truly existed? How absurd. Dohalim. Just when I think we're getting to the bottom of it all, some new revelation smacks us in the face. Then let's hope this is our last revelation for a while. It feels like our whole world has been turned upside down. Is there anything we know that's still true at this point? Seriously, I'm still trying to process the fact that we Renans were created by the Helganquil, let alone the Sovereign and Maiden stuff. Let's take a moment to gather ourselves. I know all of this is a lot to believe and take in, but... I think it's fair to say that we've found the answers we've been looking for. Does everyone agree? Agreed. Though I'll admit that I never expected it to all boil down to Rena's great spirit being behind everything. Everything that's happened, everything we've endured, it's all because of astral energy. And to get that energy, the Great Spirit took control of the Helganquil. Then the Helganquil created the Renans, who went on to invade and rule over the Danans. Plus, the reason the Great Spirit can't directly control the Renans as well is likely because they were originally Danans all along. <laughs> Either way, I think it's fair to say we've all had a lot to take in at once. Maybe too much, even. We should probably take it easy and rest our minds a bit. Why don't we all take some time to think things over, before we decide on our next move? That's a good idea, Kisara. If the Renan Great Spirit really is behind all this, then we've got a really big fight ahead of us. Because it's not just Dana on the line, but Rena too. If we're going to do this, we need to be completely sure of ourselves. So let's go ahead and break off for now. We aren't in any immediate danger, so we should be okay. You sure you don't want to be alone right now? I could ask you the same question. I figured I'd get all my thinking in while walking around and checking up on everybody. I'll go along with you. I'm interested to hear what's on everyone's minds, too. Sounds good. Let's go find them. Sure, just with each other, so why don't Everyone's do... just gone their own way, huh? Yeah. yeah. Let's hit up each spot. Monitoring to ensure nothing approaches take phase off. Everything we thought we knew. It was all just a fabrication that the Red Women no. ...that the Helganquil made up. Right. Assuming we can believe anything that Hevrek 35 has told us, that is. Well, if the names are anything to go by... ...it's possible the Helganquil could be behind the fruits of Helgen too. But if Hevrek 35 was telling the truth... ...and this was all just one massive lie... ...does that mean everything we've done up until now has been pointless? No, I don't think so. Or at least I hope not. I think it just means we've lost our foothold for now. That's all. Really? Well then, if we've lost it, I guess we'll just have to find another. All of us together. And if we can't find one, then we'll make a new one. End of story. Make one, huh? I see. Right then, count me in. Oh, I can sleep. Okay, let's just rest for now. Okay, let's find them.
Oh, there are people now. Uh, I can't talk to you. Did the Renans on Danigas lose control of their Zugos? I suppose it's plausible. What with all the astral energy flowing through this the place. In which case, the arts that were keeping them in line must have been disrupted. I doubt it was otherwise the work of the Great Spirit. I agree. It's hard to believe that such a massive consciousness could deliberately conceive and then carry out such localized phenomenon. Hmm. Oh, I can hear you. Hmm, you found me collapse again and help me back up. Well, I appreciate it. Thanks to you, I can continue to go to my uh, to go about my research. Happy battle. Uh, this is a bit too much. <laughs> the spirit challenging plan will soon finally conclude as the overseer reaches the end of its ties form. After going to hibernation countless times to date. It's been a long time coming, to say the least. What are we going to do once the project is over and there's nothing left for us to research? We'll always keep observing as long as there are things out there worth, worth watching. Once our time is up, whenever it is, we shall return to nothing. It's a fitting fate for this station and its inhabitants after being cast out into the cosmos. Well, if everything's done, everybody will be dead, so you won't be going anywhere. Okay, let's talk to the guys. You both seem awfully calm. <laughs> Only because after everything we've seen, we don't have the energy to keep being shocked. How are you holding up, Rinwell? That whole talk about the Renans looked like it shook you up a bit. Yeah. I get this sinking feeling whenever I remember how Dan and mages like my family were persecuted and died out. And now, I finally know why that is. <sighs> but I was thinking, if Renans end up living together with Danans again, then mages won't be such an unusual thing to see on Dana anymore, right? <laughs> I know it's not as simple as all that, but... Danans probably won't be so quick to let their guards down, and there might be Renans who still act superior because of their arts. It wouldn't surprise me. Three hundred years of bad blood and prejudice isn't going to be an easy thing to overcome. Yeah, I know firsthand just how much hatred can take hold in your heart once you let it in. But even so, I was still able to change, and if I can change, so can anyone else. So I was thinking maybe, I don't know, I could use my position as both a Danon and a mage to help bring both sides together. Renwell. That great spirit worries me too, though. Dana's will feels so warm and inviting. So why is Rena's will trying to destroy our entire planet? Now that you mention it, Everick 35 and the other scientists here never really brought that up. Maybe they don't know either. Maybe, but regardless, at the end of the day, Dan is still our home. There's no way we can let it be destroyed. We won't. We'll keep it safe no matter what. <sighs> so, Renans are also actually Danans. Dreadwell's uh, mage clan is actually the Renans. Oh, it's you two. Does he seem like he's doing any better now? He who? Oh, you mean Dohalim, don't you? I know that we're all struggling to wrap our minds around it all, but he looked like he was taking it really hard earlier. What do you think about everything we've learned? About the Renans, and the Great Spirit, and all that? On some level, I'm not even really sure what to think, to be honest. I mean, the Great Spirit is like a huge, natural disaster. 
but with a mind and will of its own. But if that thing's hellbent on trying to destroy our planet, then the only thing left for us to do is stop it. As for the Renans, I suppose my feelings on that are a bit more mixed. How so? Coexistence between Danans and Renans in Menencia is still a work in progress. In my case, I think that's partly because deep down, I was still on guard around Renans. So... <laughs> to be told that they're like us, that they're actually just like us is... Well... <laughs> I guess it's a little deflating, to be honest. You kept a pretty level head. You mean about the Renans? At the end of the day, the Helgan Quill and the Great Spirit are the ones who are responsible. But, at the same time, I realize that not every Danon is necessarily going to believe that either. I know you're already aware of this, but the list of grievances the Danons have against the Renans is long, and understandably so. And, if people then find out that they're all actually one and the same, yeah. I don't think they're going to take to it too kindly. Even just among the Danans, I'm sure there'll be some who emerge with power, and some who won't. I, I think if we can find a way to get rid of that imbalance, then we'll be in a truly good place. Well, well first we can try to figure out what to do about the existing conflicts we have. Y yeah. It'd be nice if one day people could learn to get past their hatred like Rinwell did. It's no small task. We can't pretend like the past didn't happen, and ask people to forget their very real pain and suffering. Right. Everybody has their reasons for feeling the way that they do. But if we just keep yelling at each other about it, we'll never move on. In a worst-case scenario, it might lead to even more people getting killed. We all have to figure out how to meet halfway. Not just that, but to also embrace each other's pain, in a sense. That's an interesting way of putting it. It's true. Everybody has their own scars, their own trauma. The first step to healing those wounds is to put aside that hatred. It, it won't be achieved through reasoning, but, but I think it's a good first step, if nothing else. And, and now, I think I see a way to move forward. But to do that, first we need to make sure our planet isn't going to get wiped out. I think the first thing you need to do is to destroy Lenegis, but actually you need to remove everyone there. Okay, uh -huh. they're on the other side. Hello? I still can't believe it, man. You're not the only one still trying to make sense of all this. Believe me. Really? You've never struck me as the type of guy to get hung up on these sorts of things. Did you forget what happened back in Thistleum? Once my memory started coming back to me, I felt completely and totally lost. It was really that bad for you? Yeah, it was. But thanks to Law and everybody else, I remembered that I still had things out there worth fighting for. Man, I think you might be a better guy than me, Alfin. All I can remember thinking was, when's this guy gonna get his act together? Law. I was too worried about repeating the same mistakes I'd made back with my dad, and running away from the truth. That was no way to live, and I've tried to stay strong, my way. But all this talk about other races and the world ending? If I can be honest with you guys, it's just all too much for me to handle right now. I know this is going to sound strange coming from me, but maybe the key is not to worry too much about the big stuff right now. Oh? I used to worry all the time about my thorns, for obvious reasons. But I never really opened up to anyone about them. And when I realized my visions pointed to a threat that was bigger than me, I didn't know what I should do, or who to tell. But that's when I finally got it. 
You guys were all there for me, to teach me what's really important. I just had to open up and listen. In other words, if you let the big picture stuff get you all muddled up inside, you'll begin to lose sight of what you really care about. Yeah, I think you're right. The thing that's most important, what I really care about, all I want to do is protect the people that really matter to me, to fight for them. That's good enough, right? Not everyone is strong enough to fight. Huh? It's something your dad told me once when he was still alive. Law, you know you're strong enough to fight, and you're strong enough to protect the people you care about. Forget all the big stuff going on. Just don't lose sight of what you want to protect in the first place. Sound good? Yeah. Yeah, I think it does. <laughs> it's like a big weight's been lifted off my shoulders. I'll fight to protect the people around me. Just like I always have. I think that's best. <laughs>